Well, Sinn Féin remain committed to fighting a resolution to the current political impasse and today I've reiterated that point to the British Secretary of State. What we have here is a short window in front of us where we need to find solutions to and find a way forward. The best way to do that, in our opinion, is to have a short, sharp and focused negotiation in the small time frame that we have ahead of us. I also raised today the issue with the, the British Secretary of State, the issue of legacy funding and the need for the British Government to fund legacy inquests. They need to not allow the relationship which they have with the DUP in Westminster to deny people their rights here, whether that be the right to an inquest, whether that be marriage rights or whether that be language rights. What we need to see is a Bill of Rights and that is one of the issues at the heart of the negotiations which need to happen in the t short time that we have ahead of us. You have to remember what the political crisis is about and why it came about and why Martin McGuinness resigned. He resigned because the DUP failed to deliver citizens their rights. He resigned because of RHI scandal, a financial scandal at the heart of the executive. So those are the issues which we need to deal with. We remain fully committed to wanting to make the institutions work. We want a sustainable executive. I believe the public want that too, but it has to be an executive that's going to go the long term. It has to be an executive that has got a quality and integrity at its core, and that remains the Sinn Féin position. And we will work every day because these issues aren't going away. We will work with any the partners in government to try and resolve the issues. What we focused on today was the fact that we need the British government to fulfil their responsibilities as co-guarantor of the Good Friday Agreement. They need to deliver and work to deliver every day the citizens here the same rights that their government allow to other parts of these islands. So what we're asking for is exactly the same thing here that in terms of marriage or in terms of language rights which you can enjoy in England, Scotland or Wales.